I want this so bad. I gotta bring it. Oh! I'm freaking out. You gotta get out of here. No way! This is annoying. Well, how do you not finish that? These guys are gonna crush me. I'm gonna cut corners. Ah! They did their thing. We got three customizers, 10K, pro leathers, five hours. This is Paint Wars. The clock starts now. Let me introduce you to our judges. Our first judge keeps all the celebs dripping with heat on their feet. He designed sneakers for Trey Young, James Harden, and even Shaq. Give it up for my guy, Serato! Ew. Whoa, Serato's actually finna be judging this. Like, like my face right here shows it all. Y'all know Overtime, so y'all definitely gonna know my next judge. She was a Final Four Hooper, and she's the face of Overtime WVB. She's the queen of Overtime. Give it up for Overtime Chloe! Let's hey. get this party started! and stay on the lookout. I still got a third judge coming through. I magically appear. There's a mystery judge. I don't know if he's like a sneaker customizer. I don't know if he's this or that. Today we're rocking with the Pro Leathers. This shoe from 1976 is the OG basketball shoe. And you know Dr. J used to wear these. Converse took this clean classic and just upgraded it for today. Mean and clean, I love these. There's no limitations on this shoe. All white shoe, don't get no better than this. When I saw Stumble Gums, I felt like I gotta bring it. He's a really good artist. His craft is unlimited on the way how you can deliver it. How you feeling? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I look to my left and I see Frank. He is a great artist. I've seen his work all over. He's really good with his details. Details on everything when it comes down to customizing. I had no idea who Mariah was, but based off of her vibe, I already knew that she was a threat. Stumping Ground and Frank are like insta-famous, and I have like 2,000 followers. Both been in the game for close to 10 years. I've been customizing for about a year and a half. These guys are gonna crush me. Competition starts, I got so many ideas running through my head. They tell us they have five hours. Normally my art does take longer. I'm gonna cut corners. The shoes that I make take seven hours at the least. My brain freezes. I don't know what to do with the sneakers. I'm curious to see what you got. Stay tuned. I'll be watching. The design I'm picking is the Statue of Liberty, comic book style. I want it to look like you're wearing a cartoon on your feet. When you look at the shoe, you want to see all the colors, the shading, and everything. So right now I'm prepping the shoe so that the paint can bond to the leather. You want your work to last. I go for stomping ground because I'm from New York and that's my stomping ground. My mom was an artist growing up. We'd sit at the table and then draw. That was our way of bonding. I got into the sneaker game. I started doing different designs for my friends or family. Eventually I created some crazier pieces and that's how I became stomping ground customs. Stomping ground customs is a big name in the sneaker custom game. I had this weaving concept. Everyone knows weaving techniques from like Japanese cultures, African cultures, Latin cultures. It's about bringing things together. It's about connectivity and I've never seen it on sneakers before. I like to deconstruct. I'm all about sustainability. I'm just gonna like make a piece of art. I'm prepping the sneaker and getting it taped up to make sure that all the lines are clean and crispy so that it can have a factory finish. You know you got a little uh, paint. Oh, that's normal. Okay, what's my place of peace? I'm gonna do this chrome beach effect, showing how relaxing and how beautiful the beach really is, especially if you're coming from a dark place. When the sun hits it a certain way, it reflects off the water, which bringing out the chrome. I'm gonna do it in an abstract way. My name is Frank Benoit, I go by Frank Anthony. Growing up in East St. Louis, it was pretty difficult because there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of things. I've gotten into art when I was younger. I started off by creating my own toys. A lot of my other friends stopped playing with their action figures and they came over just to play with my paper figures. And I was like, that's crazy. Got into sneaker customization when I was in high school. Kids at the school bullied me like no other. My brother had a pair of Jordan 1 hand-me-down. He was like, hey, you know what you've been going through? We can fix these up together. So me, my brother, and my sister restored a pair of Jordan 1. I chose to work on sneakers because I would prefer that people can see it no matter where they are. So Frank, what was your first big success with customizing? I actually went through a breakdown, stopped doing artwork, months of depression. After that, Tyler from Angeles reached out to me about a sponsorship. That was my goal. I started doing more custom work and creating my truth. When things always start going bad, the most craziest thing happened that would just make you like, okay, I can't give up. Y'all finna give me emotion and everything. Oh, no, I, I feel you. And I'm glad that you got your break. I'm glad that you're trying to get to this bag, this 10K. You figured it out, though. I know you got something in store here for the end piece here. It's gonna look good. Oh, yeah. I'm doing this competition just to prove to everyone that's following me that it's possible just to obtain your goals. 
Just thinking about those shoe being completely leather, I kind of wanted to keep the leather thing going, so I'm cutting leather strips out. Don't know what I'm about to do with it, but I know these leather strips are going on the sneaker. My name is Mariah Ruff. I'm a sneaker customizer and designer from Detroit. Growing up, I was bullied. The same people who bullied me in school lived on my same street, and being stuck in a house, my dad forced me to be creative and really express myself through like my crafts and cutting up clothes. Individuality is very important to me because growing up, I tried to be like everybody else and trying to be like everybody else kind of forced people to like bully me. Embracing like my individuality helped me grow as a person. I'm here to show women and girls, you can definitely do anything that you put your mind to. Did you bring your own fabrics too? I did. I actually brought all of this from home, keeping it sustainable, you know, repurposing. First thing that I do is I prep the leather to make sure that the paint can adhere to it. If you don't prep the leather, the paint will not stick. The main thing that we want to do is make sure that it looks like it's come from the factory and not like it's just, I got lazy with it. Now I'm taping the tongue and then I'm going to cut out the lines of the stripes for the flag. Not only am I going against these guys, I also have to beat this clock and I'm super nervous. My boy Frank over there, he's being super secretive. All I see is tape. Taping is so important so that you can have a crispy factory finish. Once you're painting, you need certain areas that you don't want to get paint on. You remove the tape, it will be a beautiful finish. I feel like I'm making some good time. Now I'm painting the shoe mint green to match the Statue of Liberty. I'm adding some rust effects because the Statue of Liberty is rusted over time. I want to put a New York vibe in my sneakers. Everyone's take on New York is different. If it was yours, you would probably put a bacon, egg, and cheese on. Hey yo, as you see, can you actually put a bacon, egg, and cheese on there? I'll do whatever you want, Larry. He's not a judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling shaky because I'm still cutting my strips. Very curious to see what my rise about to bring to the show. Sure. I look over at the guys and they got their tape down, their airbrushing. I've never seen her process. I don't know like what's involved with it or what she has to do first or second or last. You know, those guys, I'm a lot more familiar with what they're doing. So I can kind of instantly know right, he's on step A, B, C, D, E. But you know, her, it might take her longer. Customizers, you have three hours. I'm definitely taking a risk with this sneaker because I've never done it before. This sneaker is completely one of one because even if I was to do it again, I wouldn't do the pattern the same. I'm gonna glue down all these strips and then I'm gonna sew over it to keep them in place. I'm gonna add some outlining on the stars, the stripes. You don't normally use the silhouettes of the canvas or any of that stuff. Sometimes I do, but for this, I'm just this freehand is, yeah. it. I did a lot of this, I know how long it takes, so you're gonna have enough time to do all this. And then every day comes at obstacles. I got my first strips of leather down. I'm ready to start weaving. I'm just using different fabrics right now, hoping that a pattern comes from it. I think it's, uh, it's getting a little stressful in here. The clock is crazy insane. Painting, things are flowing well, and then boom. Okay. I put too much paint in one area. Clue moving too fast. Slow down, Frank. Tell myself to slow down like I got Tom. Only two hours left. This is actually happening right now. Frank announces that he messed up. I'm feeling a little better because at least I'm not the only one here that's cracking under pressure. I have to go back in and remove it and retape that area up again and then lay my color back down. Damn. It's so much time, it's just passing. Ah, uh, it's so much pressure going on. All I hear is this clock just tick tock. I just see how far they've all gotten in three hours, and there's only two hours left. I just don't think any of them are gonna finish. Tom is the enemy at this point. Time is ticking. The clock is crazy insane. Paintbrush is down. I just paused your clock. For the next 30 minutes, you're gonna have to bump a special mix I made just for y'all. I'm a really big music lover. So I'm like, oh, okay, we go ahead and drop the track, Larry. What? I can't listen to that for a second longer. I'll be back with some headphones. I know they're trying to throw me off my game, and it kills me. Hold on, what music do you usually listen to? Uh, ah, it's not today, I'm... though. You gonna be bumping <laughs> this. What well, you thought you were just gonna customize yes. in peace? No, we got a bump of vibe. Twilight Zone vibes. <laughs> I can't even explain the track. Ah, uh, this is annoying. You bumping? Hey, Larry, I can't hear you. All right. 
Hardest 30 minutes of my life. There's an hour left. I'm freaking out because I literally have a whole shoe to do. I have a whole shoe to weave. The hardest thing I start to do is line work. There's a lot of panels and you have to make sure each one gets the correct details. Am I gonna finish? Am I actually gonna finish? I don't know what it's gonna look like at the end, but I'm gonna finish this shit. Time is ticking, I'm moving. I'm making sure I get my job done. I'm literally counting minutes down. 59, 58, 57. 30 minutes! Oh my God. Shaking, my lines are jittery a little bit. If you're not gonna put everything into this shoe, you might as well walk out right now. You just gotta stay calm. Oh, Mariah just started lacing them up. I have to finish the shoot to prove to myself that I can handle anything. 15 minutes left, come on. Hey, yo, did you not see SGC hand shaking? I'm paying, I'm going as fast as I can. Your hand is shaking, you literally shaking, bro. You all right? Relax. I'm rushing, I'm moving fast. Five minutes left. God, yo, this is gonna be an easy 10K bag? Haha, <laughs> nunca. Can't crack under pressure, man. You just gotta keep going. You're down to your last minute. Pulling away tape, drawing, spraying. I'm lacing up everything. I'm like an octopus, ripping the point like ah. I'm sweating. 20 seconds left. I'm missing something. I, I can't figure out what it is, but I got a gut feeling I'm missing something. I'm turning the sneaker around, and I'm just like, what did I miss here? I know in my gut I'm missing something. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. And rushes down. Larry says the competition is done. I take three deep breaths and I feel at peace. The competition is over and I realize I missed one big thing. I'm nervous to see who's gonna win this thing. I look over at Stomping Ground Shoes. I'm like highly impressed. His work is phenomenal. Frank Sneaker was also super sick. I told you I got someone magically appearing. My boy came all the way from Shy. He's the best magician in the world. Jabrizi! What's up? How you doing, Woo! man? Hey, how are you? Hey. Oh my. I changed every car to your car. Wait a second. He knows what he's doing. It's time for the judges to get their judge on. As you see, we'll start with you. This shoe is based around the Statue of Liberty. I'm from New York, so I wanted to put where I'm from on a pair of sneakers. I'm always thinking of ways to create shoes to pop. Give it that extra detail, give it that flair factor. Hi judges, these are my Converse Pro Leather Baskets. I call them baskets because they resemble basket weaving that you see from different cultures, but mine represent connectivity through the different materials that I've weaved together. I'm gonna make something each and every time that no one else will even think of. You will never find these besides here. Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, uh, my name is Frank Anthony and these are the Chrome Beach Pro Leathers. I chose the colors because it's peaceful. I like to bring peace onto others and make their minds relax because you never know what a person is going through. Since I'm from the hood, I've seen things that children shouldn't have seen. When watching TV, you will see like the beach, you'll see like happy families. My goal is to get to the beach. We just want to thank you all, but now we have a lot to talk about. You ain't got to leave, but you got to get out of here. Abra, ka, sweat. Stop doing that. First pair, SGC. I think it's an original shoe. I would rock these shoes. I would make people jealous that I have these shoes. This shoe is brought to life based off of his outlining. That's the thing that I really love about it. The logo just really pops. He said he said let something slip. I already see what it is but can y'all figure out what it is? It happens. Like in five hours, especially that last hour, we were rushed. I see it. What'd you see, bro? He didn't feel it in that star right there. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, he missed it. I, but it was it's so small, how did he not finish that? When I create sneakers before you send it out to your customer, you triple check that. Within five hours though, you can't triple check. It's a big deal to me. It throws uh, off the uh, whole uh, shoe, attention to now. detail. Damn, how did I miss that? Next sneaker, Frank Anthony. I actually thought that he had a different pair of Converse than everybody else because of these lines. They kind of bulge out like they're 3D from far away. I think that's a really cool effect on the eye. I would rock these. And I do think like that technical precision to me is there. The originality, it's a unique take on it. I mean, hearing this message, I liked it. It yeah. seemed like it actually vibed with what the actual shoe looked like. But degree of difficulty. Very clean. I mean, he did a lot of masking, which is yeah. why it comes out this clean. But degree of difficulty was, it's not high. 
gradient is clean though. The gradient is clean. We all we all agree it's clean. The gradient is clean. We got Mariah. Woo. I've never seen these before, I know. This is ridiculous. She was sewing and weaving. Wait, wait, is, is this paint stains on here? That's the no, logo. That's the Converse logo. Oh. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Mind blown? What? Yeah. Oh, that was that was slick. I don't want to say it looks sloppy because it doesn't, but obviously I think if she had more time, the shoe would probably look way different. Even just some of the little things like the trimmings. I really like amazing. the angle from the backside. That looks clean from the heel. Absolutely. Like, this is ridiculous. Hand sewed. They came all the way to Brooklyn. They're working with shoes they've never worked with before, and they only had five hours. They did their thing. They definitely did their thing. So y'all made a decision? Yup. Yes. Yeah. Jabrizi, you mind bringing back the customizers and sending me back to the logo? No problem, I got you, man. Oh my God. It's time to announce the winner. Before they announce the winner, I'm already looking at Stumping Ground and Frank. I think they're gonna win because their art shows crazy through these sneakers and I've never seen anything like that. I look to my right, he really brought it. He didn't come to play. I look to my left at Mariah and I was blown away. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like I've never seen a woven technique done by hand. It was insane. They didn't come to play, but still at the same time, I'm not gonna downgrade what I did. All of you are super talented and amazing sneaker designers. My heart's racing. But only one person can move on to the final round and compete for $10,000. Nothing would mean more to me than to take this home. It was a hard decision, but we had to make it. Winning this would mean a lot. It could help out my mom, my dad. And moving on to the next round with a chance to win $10,000 is... I want this so bad. I'm freaking out. I really hope they say my name. Mariah! Oh! <laughs> you guys. All three are super talented. Don't play with me. <laughs> Wait, you, got it. you got it. What? what are you talking about? I'm super proud of myself. Um, like, I didn't even know that this was like something that can come from what I was doing creatively. I really feel empowered, even if just this one episode helps other girls to like really step out there and just to take the chance just to have the experience. You know this episode was wavy like I promised. Congrats, Mariah. And y'all better stay tuned to Paint Wars. Your boy Larry though got to go. On the next episode of Paint Wars. Put off some tape, paint him off. I'm like, what the f Rabbit in the hair going on right here. Base likes to screw around, have fun, but I'm all business. 30 seconds left, let's work, come on. Five hours could go by in an instant. I know you're trying to get fitted like your boy, so click the link below ASAP. Get right like me, and check out the rest of these videos right here, and subscribe! Stop playing with me, subscribe! Click that button already, man, sheesh.